The Lock Latch Deluxe Series 3 is a highly dependable gate latch that can be conveniently opened and locked or unlocked from both sides of the gate. It is very easy to install due to a simple mounting bracket that acts as a drill template and a snap fit connector rod that reliably links the operable parts on both sides of the gate together. With a limited lifetime warranty, Lock Latch Deluxe Series 3 is made to last a long time. Installing the Lock Latch Deluxe Series 3 latch is simple when following a four step process. Step one, determine left or right mounting. Step two, position the latch on the gate. Step three, connect the rod, cutting to size and seating. Step four, complete installation. Hi, my name is Matt Smith. I'm a professional installer and today we will be going over the Lock Latch Deluxe Series 3 installation. Before we begin, let's identify all the tools that you need to install the latch. What you'll need is a power drill or cordless drill. Drill bits of two sizes. One is a 532nd or 4 millimeter drill bit. The other is a half inch or 13 millimeter drill bit. A number two Phillips drive bit three and a half inches long, a number two pencil for marking, a number two Phillips handheld screwdriver, a square, a hacksaw with fine tooth blade, and a file. Next, let's review all the components included in this set. In this package you'll find a mounting bracket that serves as a template for drill markings and positioning, the latch body, push button housing, push button lock cylinder, the striker body, mounting screws, mounting bracket screws, two connector rods, and a set of keys. Now that we've identified all the components and tools, let's get started with the first step. You'll need to determine if you will be either right or left handed for the mounting. To determine if you have either a right hand or left hand gate, you'll need to face the fence and pull the gate at the side opposite of the hinges. If you are pulling from the right side, this is considered right-handed. And if you are pulling from the left side of the gate, this is considered left-handed. Take the mounting bracket off of the latch body and rotate it as required. It's important to make sure that the padlock symbol is on top. Next, take the push button housing and rotate it to match the gate opening. When installing the push button into the housing, make sure the lock symbol is facing up. Ensure the two sprung polymer lugs clip neatly into the housing. For the second step, we'll determine the position of the latch on the gate. We'll need to take the mounting bracket, the square tool, and a pencil. Use the mounting bracket as a fitting jig and determine the height of the latch on the fence post. Make a mark at the location of the bottom notch. Mark inside the bottom circle on the post face. Use a square tool to draw a level line. Next, slide the mounting bracket down so that the center notch aligns with the marked line. Mark that point inside the circle on the fence post, which will be 3 quarters of an inch or 19 millimeters in from the outer edge. Take the mounting bracket and bring it around to the opposite side of the post. Repeat the steps to create a circle that aligns with the circle on the front of the post. Now that the markings are all completed, take the power drill and drill bits to drill leveled holes through the post. Start by drilling pilot holes of 532 or 4 millimeters on both sides of the post. To ensure the hole is level, Drill the front and back side separately. Enlarge the holes by re-drilling with the larger half inch or 13 millimeter drill bit. If you are building a wood gate, we suggest making the hole slightly larger using a 5 8 bit to accommodate swelling when wet. The prep work is all done for the position of the latch. For the third step, we're going to be installing the snap fit connector rod. One of the most important features of the new innovative snap fit connector rod is that it makes it easier to connect to the push button, which allows for minor alignment issues if someone's holes are misaligned. Also, the rod easily clips to the push button assembly. To ensure optimum latch performance, cut the rod to the depth of the post. When measuring, 
make sure the end of the connector clip is flush to the post edge and mark the opposite side. Ensure the cut is square and then deburr the face of the rod. It is very important that the rod is cut accurately and precisely to depth of the post. If you accidentally cut the rod to the wrong length, do not worry. The pack contains a spare rod. Now that we have cut the rod to the precise length, you'll need to insert the rod into the external access push button housing until it snaps into place. For the fourth and final step, we will complete the installation. Take the mounting bracket, four small screws, the Phillips screwdriver, and the latch body. Using the screwdriver, you'll need to screw in the four small screws to secure the mounting bracket to the latch body. Take the external access button assembly with the connector rod and insert the connected unit so that the rod slides fully through the post. Check that the rod is flush with the post faced and is not protruding. Depress push button so that the rod protrudes out from the post. Position the latch body so that the protruding rod slots into the corresponding interface and then mount the body with four screws. Check key operation for lock-unlock in both the latch body and the push button. Take the striker body and centering the stainless steel bolt in the middle of the tongue slot, fix it with four more screws. Make sure to mount the screws in the center of the slots. Over time, gates sag so the striker can be adjusted when or if needed. Open and close the gate to ensure proper functionality. After final adjustment, insert the fifth and final screw. Congratulations, you have now completed the installation for the Lock Latch Deluxe Series 3. Visit ddtech.com to learn more.